Radio News Channel 13's Eric Fink explains it's another primary measure that has some active voters committed to voting no. He joins us live in our broadcast operations center. Eric. Well, James, the Super Tuesday caucus will be remembered for both confusion and low turnout. Republicans didn't even hold a straw poll. Now, changes are in the works to make Colorado an open primary state, and voters here in El Paso County are split. This November, 18-year-old Matthew Barad will vote in his first presidential election. He supported Bernie Sanders in the Super Tuesday caucus, then switched to unaffiliated the next day. We managed to get a candidate for the Republican and Democratic Party who are the least popular in history. Nobody is happy with the candidate that they're going to end up with. More than 300,000 people signed a petition to get a presidential primary option on the ballot for 2020. And another measure that would make all statewide primaries open to all voters, including the large number of unaffiliated. It's a move staunch Democrat Cindy Culp opposes. The primary is for the parties to choose their nominees. And so people who are affiliated with the party should have a voice in that. And the people who support the party with their votes, with their money, with their ideology, with their volunteer work. Republican campaign, Secretary of State Wayne Williams agrees. I believe that the process we have where you affiliate and you have the opportunity then to say this is part of my values as part of my party and I'm making the decision. But for this teenager who's taken a keen interest in politics, Virginia, the more, more diverse double. the electorate and the higher Other the turnout, the better. In places like Colorado Springs, if you don't register as a Republican, you pretty much don't get a say on who gets elected. And so having an open primary would ensure that everybody who has a chance of uh, getting elected has to appeal to the broader population rather than just a very small portion. Now, the presidential caucus in March saw a record turnout for Democrats, about 14 percent statewide. Only 6 percent of Republicans showed up without that straw poll. Live this evening in the Broadcast Operations Center, I'm Eric Fink, KRDO News Channel 13. Eric, thanks so much. The Trump campaign is on.